Start of my life is today is don't be confused. Don't be confused. Been talking to someone and they're telling you their situation could be a really dire situation. This happened to me yesterday. I'm talking to this young woman. Her situation is, you know, it's pretty dire. She, I don't want to tell her business on social media, but it's a pretty dire situation. And I'm offering an opportunity for her to totally change her life, her life situation, her job situation, her financial situation, situation with her children. Because she's so used to the situation that she's in, the child was hesitating. And I was thinking, really? But then, you know, I decided to like get humble because I remember a time when it was easier for me to stay the way I was than to change. Can anybody relate to that? It was more comfortable. It was familiar for me to live in anxiety, to live in fear, to live in stockdom, to be in a place of no growth, no progress. So I decided to just humble myself and just like listen to her because I was at that same place. She's there now and it's easy. It would be easy for me to be like, girl, you really need to change that. Blah, 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 blah. But, you you know, when I when I stopped myself and took, you know, stopped up my journey, I was exactly where she is right now at some point. Here I was offering her an opportunity to totally change, be in a situation where she can even work from home. But because she's used to living the way she's been living, all ratchet, raggedy and ratchety, I said to her, you're used to that, aren't you? She says, yes, Angela, I'm used to it. That's it. I'm used to it. And you know, she got out the phone. She hadn't made a decision about whether or not she's going to change. She was going to take the advantage of the opportunity I was offering her. Why? Because she's scared. Fear will make you stay in a place that you know it's terrible. Fear will make you stay in a place where you know it's terrible. You you see the situation, but you're still like on the brink of like you're playing double dutch or something. And I was just amazed though. Even though I, I couldn't identify where she was, the fact that she hadn't made a decision by the time we got off the phone to take advantage of the opportunity to work from home to make more money and to give her child a better life i was thinking to myself you know you need to this is crazy but i keep tempering that that with the reality that when you're in a place that you're used to you'll stay there we will stay there we will be like oh i'm loving this mud even though stinky it stink it stink and all of that but the thing is what i wanted her to also understand is to not get it confused that because i understand it's okay you ever been talking to somebody you say oh yeah i understand i understand and somehow they think because you say you understand that you agree or somehow that you support what they're saying. No, 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 no. When I say I understand, that doesn't mean I support what you're saying. I understand that you're used to the, to the stench or to the stink or to the stuck them, but I am not accepting it and I don't agree with that you should stay there. So I just wanted to reinforce that point today that my understanding of something doesn't mean that I accept it or that I condone it or anything. I can't condone you staying in a place of being stuck, living be you know below your potential. No, if you're talking to me, I'm like, girl, you need to get up. Get up, girl, get up. We've all had situations like in our lives where we are at a place where because we're just used to it, even though we know there's better, we know there's more promise, there's no possibility on the other side, we just stay still because we're scared. Fear will mess you up, man. It will hijack your whole life. But fear can also be your fuel. It can also be your friend if you decide to make it so. But if you just sit with it, that thing will hijack you. I'm telling you from experience. Anyway, so what is it that right now in your life that you need to look at it and say, yeah, I'm here now, but I don't want to confuse it with the fact that I need to change. You understand what I'm saying? I may understand. You may understand where you are, but don't confuse it with because I'm used to it, I should stay here. Because I'm used to the stink and the stench and the stuck. Don't get used to it. Aspire for more. Aspire for better. And then move. And if you get the opportunity, grab it. Because you know what I know? Sometimes the same opportunity just don't come around again. I am so grateful I took the opportunity when I was given it to leave my job at the library some many, many years ago and take a chance on myself. So many people are not willing to take a chance on themselves. You are the, the jockey. You can decide that you're worth taking a chance on you. And if you don't do that, you will stay in the stench. You'll stay in the gutter. You will stay in stuckdom. And is that really what you want for yourself and your children? I'm thinking about the fact that when I made one decision, the one decision that I made has impacted so many other people's lives. That's the opportunity we have when we decide not to allow fear 
to keep us stuck. So aspire for better. Have a great day. Take the risk on you. Take a chance on you. And don't confuse. I understand where I accept. No, you can understand and still need to change. Okay. Have a great day. Click on the link, please. A lot of times the reason why we are stuck is because emotionally we are stuck. Emotionally, we need healing. Click on the link. Take your test to evaluate your, your emotional state. And let's get on with the next best thing, which is to heal, aspire, and grow. But we have to start with healing because I figured out the formula that a lot of times why people stay stuck because emotionally they are unhealthy. I know from experience. Have a great day. Thanks for joining my live and I'll catch you in another episode of Angie Speaks Stronger Than Splinter. Bye-bye.